When creating the Suzuki Grand Vitara 2, they abandoned the frame and solid axles, but left a full-fledged all-wheel drive. Therefore, when reading the paper characteristics of a car, it is not always clear which class it belongs to. Whether it's an SUV at the price of a crossover, or a crossover with the appetite of an SUV. In the article, we will sort through all the pros and cons of a used model. In addition to the standard 5-door modification, not so often, but there is also a 3-door modification a good option for urban conditions with bad roads. The body of the Grand Vitara is galvanized on both sides, but after damage it starts to rust very quickly. Therefore, it is better to eliminate chips and scratches immediately after they occur. Permanent four-wheel drive is good, but you should not count on super patency. It is higher than the average SUV, but do not exclude the factor of correct rubber and gaskets between the steering wheel and the driver's seat. Additional features always require additional costs, or at least attention. When choosing a Suzuki Grand Vitara with mileage, it is better not to take specimens with leaky front axle seals. Without oil, the gearbox quickly fails, and it is not known how much the car has already driven with a leak. Most often, the right drive oil seal flows and changes without any problems. If the front drip, then you have to disassemble the entire Rizdaka. In this case, all other oil seals are changed at the same time so as not to return to this issue for the next 70 to 80,000 mileage. Even if there are no oil leaks, be sure to change the oil in the front gearbox after purchase. Due to the location of the breather, water gets into it. And for this it is not necessary to drive on deep fords. There is a solution to the problem. 1. Genuine extended hose kit breather and retainer kit. 2. The design of the gasoline-resistant Ziguli hose, two clamps and a filter. In the rear gearbox, the breather is brought into the bridge, so there are no such problems. But if you park in a deep puddle for a long time, then moisture can still penetrate inside. Therefore, extreme off-road enthusiasts are advised to change the lubricant in the rear gearbox twice as often as during normal operation. If the oil seals and oil in both transfer cases are changed in time, then the Suzuki Grand Vitara all-wheel drive system will regularly last 250 plus thousand km. Unfortunately, not all owners pay due attention to regular diagnostics. Suspension the chassis of the Grand Vitara is reliable, but there are several weaknesses. 1. Silent blocks of the front levers. In the original, the front levers change only as an assembly. At the same time, the ball joint nurses much more than the rear silent blocks, which live 70 to 100,000 km solved in two ways. 1. Replacement of the lever assembly. 2. Replacing the silent blocks themselves with alternative ones. For example, Hyundai 54584-2E000 or Sidem 877611. 2. Rear brake up bolts. They are supplied without any anti-corrosion protection, so over time they become one with the rear silent blocks. Because of this, it is impossible to adjust the camber of the rear axle. This is fraught with accelerated wear of rubber and is treated by replacing all rear silent blocks along with bolts. To prevent such a situation, regular bolt maintenance is recommended. 3. Front Stabilizer Bushings Almost a consumable with a service life of 10 to 30,000 km depending on driving style, quality of bushings and roads. For owners of 2 liter Vitars, it can be advised to use bushings and brackets from the 2.4 liter version. Catalog numbers 42412-78K00 sleeve and 42415-78K00 mounting bracket. Wheel bearings are supplied complete with a hub but their resource is usually enough for 100 plus thousand km in normal urban use. The rear brakes of the Grand Vitara are drum and pads are usually enough for at least 80,000 km the front will have to be changed twice as often. Engines in this section, Suzuki has a minimum of variety. From 2005 to 2008, in fact, there was only one option, a 2 liter J20A gasoline engine with a capacity of 140 liters with for the weight of the car and all-wheel drive, it is not enough, so the consumption in the city rarely drops below 14 liters. Cars were brought from America with a more frisky six-cylinder 2.7 liter. 
reliable and unpretentious, a good option to buy, but it is difficult to find a Grand Vitara 2 in good condition with such an engine. Found only on Pre-Styling Vitara. From the exotic category, you can find Vitara with a 1.9 liter diesel engine from Renault. Of the one and a half thousand advertisements for the sale of SGV on Avtoru, there are already 16 diesel ones. A turbine engine is not very reliable, and with age, fuel equipment becomes prohibitively expensive. To save on fuel, it is better to choose a gasoline engine with an LPG system installed. Gas equipment pays off quickly, but there is a risk of burnout of the exhaust valves if the fuel mixture is incorrectly set and adjusted. The second most common is the gasoline J24B 2.4 liter additional 29L with Increased consumption by 2 liters appeared after the first restyling and is, in fact, a bored 2 liter JB420. In terms of dynamics, a 2 liter engine on the mechanics can be equated with a 2. 4 on the machine. JB series motors have their own weaknesses features, 1. Timing chain drive. Its service life rarely exceeds 80 to 90,000 km, almost like on belt-driven machines. The chain stretches, the tensioners loosen up, so the first signs of a future repair can be easily identified by ear. Before buying, do not forget to open the hood and carefully listen to the sound of the engine. There should not be any metallic taps or rattles. 2. Zero oil. Usually begins to appear after 100,000 run. Up to 2 liters from replacement to replacement is nothing to worry about. If you regularly drive with an oil level below the minimum, then engine repair is guaranteed. It helps to replace valve stem seals and piston rings. For starters, you can try changing the viscosity of the engine oil. 3. Oil Pressure Sensor Another source of lubrication loss. Oil starts to run through it, just a change. 4. Valve Adjustment these motors do not have hydraulic lifters, therefore, according to the regulations, it is supposed to adjust the valves every 40,000 kilometers. In fact, rarely does anyone do this service more than once every 100,000 miles. It remains only to mention the most powerful V6 3.2 liters and the weakest 1.6. The first comes from General Motors and in good and service condition will not cause problems. The Suzuki Grand Vitara 2 has the only motor with hydraulic lifters and does not require valve adjustment. In the case of repair, a six-cylinder engine, in principle, will be expensive. The younger 1.6-liter engine was installed only on three-door SGV2, also with a simplified transmission. Reliable, but frankly weak unit. Suitable only for smooth movement around the city. Gearboxes the manual transmission of the Grand Vitara 2 is generally reliable, but a problem with first gear is quite common. It does not turn on when the car is warm, or it is very tightly stuck. There can be several causes and solutions to the problem. Dying clutch to be treated by replacement. Bad oil in the box, change to 2 liters of Castrol Centrin's transaxle 75W90. Zavas de Shivani hydraulic system replacement and pumping of brake fluid. Synchronizer, repair with gearbox disassembly. All Grand Vitara 2s were equipped with a rather ancient but reliable Eisen 4-speed automatic. There are fewer problems with it than with mechanics. Switches thoughtfully, but smoothly, while increasing the average consumption of a couple of liters. The only exceptions were SGVs with V6 engines. They were supplied with the same Japanese automatic transmission, only with five steps. According to the algorithm of work and reliability, they do not differ. The second generation Suzuki Grand Vitara attracts with its affordable starting price. For reasonable money, you can get an almost full-fledged SUV with an adequate cost of maintenance. The reliability of SGV2 depends on your awareness of its weaknesses. If you regularly monitor the level of lubrication in the engine and gearboxes, then trouble-free operation will be long. Do not buy vehicles with current AWD seals. Extraneous noise during engine operation can also be harbingers of serious costs. And soured breakup bolts and torn silent blocks are a good reason for a significant discount. Take a closer look at the rare well-groomed specimens with six-cylinder gasoline engines. 
Additional power with similar fuel consumption, decent reliability, and an extra step in the machine are an interesting option to buy.